A spectacular week of competitions heated the atmosphere in the Visocina Arena of Nove Miesto na Moravie, where more than 100,000 spectators came to watch the last stop of the BMW IB World Cup before the Christmas break. Men opened the program with a sprint on Thursday and 22,000 spectators warmed up the cold night, creating the perfect setting for great baffling. The men to beat was once again Johannes Dignes Bu. The Norwegian scored the fastest key time and covered all targets to take a comprehensive win over Alexander Loginov and Martin Ponsilwoma. Uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, this, I couldn't believe this. Uh, I can't still believe how oh, it's uh, fantastic, <laughs> oh, unbelievable. <laughs> but if it was a night to remember for the Swede at his very first individual podium, it was one to forget for Matan Fakan, whose ski speed looked better than in the previous stages, but four misses in the range relegated him to the 43rd position. Heavy snowfall welcomed the women's sprint on the following day, making it hard on the track and at the range. After dominating the start of the season, both Vira and Makarainen struggled on the day. But if the Italian managed to finish in the top 10 despite two misses, the Finn missed five times in total, closing just inside the top 60. Clean shooting seemed to give Paulina Fialkova the chance for her first career win, but it was Marte Osbu Roiselan to seize it and capture a maiden World Cup victory. The Norwegian had to hold her breath though. Laura Dalmaia took a late babe on the night of her return to the main circuit and led until the last shooting. The German missed once, but her ski speed helped her close in to the leader, but eventually she finished in the runner-up spot. Two exciting pursuits were run on Saturday in front of a full house. Johannes Dingersburg led thoroughly early in the race, adjusting well to the gusty wind, but in the first inning he missed twice, opening the event again. The last shooting was a thriller with both the Boer brothers, Simon Dustieu and Loginov, all together. No one went clean and became a fight on the tracks until the finish. Eventually, your honestliness took the win once again ahead of the Russian, while Tarje was third. The best run of the day was, however, signed by Martin Foucault, who rose to the fifth place thanks to being the only clean shooter of the day. You know, when I came back to my room after the, the sprint on, uh, on Thursday, I was 100% uh, sure that I will not compete today because I was so disappointed about my race and I knew that nothing good could be possible. But you know, then I realized that I did not build my career uh, when it was easy. So I decided to fight even uh, for a top 30 
then for top 20, then I knew that uh, top 10 was possible, and finally I, uh, I reached the top 5. Not much later, the women also competed on a pursuit which provided great entertainment from start to finish. After the first shooting, the competition shaped to be a battle among Oldsburg Reusland, Anna Oeber, Dalmaier and Vira. But the German missed twice in the penultimate range, making it a matter among the other three. The yellow bib entered the last range alone, but she had to wait for long on the mat due to the strong wind. All three the ladies missed once in the gust, and the win was only reserved in a thrilling sprint, which gave the Norwegian a second win of the week. The great week of Johannes Stignesburg was bound to finish on a high in the first mass start of the season. The yellow bib led from the first to the last meter of his competition, scoring the perfect 20 out of 20 at the range and pulling a hat trick in Nove Miesto, just like Martin Foucault had done two seasons ago. The Norwegian closed ahead of Canton Fiumaier, who skied his way to second podium of the season by overtaking Evgeny Garanichev on the tracks. The Russian went clean in the range and hold on to the third place, his first podium in three seasons. I have to say thank you to the, to the crowds because today is one day before Christmas uh, but a lot of, a lot of people uh, go watch the biathlon and that's great and good for not just for us but for all biathlon family. The women's master closed the program and it was a perfect ending for a great week of biathlon. Despite an early miss, Anastasia Kuzmina showed a famous key form to reach the last shooting range all alone in the lead. The fast shooting of Vera allowed the Italian to catch up, but as both missed once, Kuzmina fled to an historical win. Another nail-biting last lap saw Fialkova overtake the yellow bib in the last uphill to capture an unprecedented Slovakian double. Anaïs Chevalier also passed Vira for the first podium of the season. With the heart full of emotions for the great atmosphere the Czech fans created in Nové Miesto na Moravie, the BMW IBU World Cup now goes on a few weeks of rest but it will be back on January 10th with the traditional stop of Oberhof. In the meantime, we wish you all great winter holidays.